Hi guys, this video is a little more serious. I'm gonna be talking about what's going on in the world, especially in the US where I live, and what my opinions are on it. I normally don't really make these kind of videos, or nor do I really plan, but this really needs to address. A lot of YouTubers are addressing it, and I feel I need to do my part too. So, the whole thing, there's kind of like two subjects I want to talk about. One has to do with George Floyd. If you guys don't know who he is, I'll try explaining it the best I can, but we'll see. Now, this is going to be a little hard for me, so just bear with me while we do this. So, let's start with George Floyd. George Floyd is a black guy who was drunk. He stole some cigarettes. And the police were called on him. But what the police did to him was not needed. What they did to him ended up in him dying. And this started a lot of commotion because how the police were actually treating this black guy. There was one officer who actually had his knee on his neck, on George Floyd's neck, and he kept saying he couldn't breathe. He addressed this a lot of times, but the police officer would not take his knee off of his neck, and he had his knee on his neck for over five minutes and George Floyd ended up dying due to suffocation because of that officer and a lot of people do not think he actually deserved it he didn't deserve to die now I know this could be a really touchy subject for a lot of people but we need to address it on to everyone, as many people as we can get. Now, I might be rambling on, but that's because this isn't on a script. This is what I'm, this is coming from me and what I know. And one of the other problems that's going around in the U.S. is people are going around raiding stores and some houses. They're getting stuff and whatnot. And people are just getting out of control and breaking and entering to places they shouldn't be and whatnot. And people are dying in these raids. Slash riots. Now, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but A lot of the cities are affected by these raids in the U.S. I don't know about other countries, but the city where I live in is not affected, but there are some of the round cities in Arizona that I live in that are affected, and it's actually kind of stressful. There are so much riots going on that they've actually a uh, curfew for 8 p.m. where I live as a law and in other areas I have a friend who lives in California and she lives right in the middle of a bunch of stuff happening and I kinda feel bad for her but She's there, and nothing can help it, but 
so much stuff's happening there that their curfew time is 4 p.m. The sun's not even down by then. In fact, some people haven't even had dinner at this time. And this is just crazy. My personal opinion on all this, yes, black lives do matter, but it's how we show it that truly matters. The people who are peaceful protesting on the streets, they're in the right. Some of these people who are rioting slash raiding are using this whole George Floyd thing as just a chance to start breaking stuff and whatnot. I guess I should just leave off here saying that be the best selves you guys can be. Be the example. Be the bigger person. Be the kind soul that everyone needs. Keep cheery. And I'll do my best. This is, subject won't come up on my channel again. This is a one-time thing. This channel will be a place to hide from this stuff and get away from all this stuff going on in the world. And I do care about every single one of you guys. And I want you guys to stay safe out there. And don't get hurt. Play it safe and smart. And take care, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.